Today we are serving up pastiker for our 22 month old toddler. I'm heating up some beef brisket from yesterday's dinner. And uh, this is from Costco. Someone was asking me how I make these really creamy scrambled egg. I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm just breaking four eggs into here and adding a little salt and beating the eggs. I'm gonna get the pan really hot first. Uh, melt some butter in it. Once the pan is hot enough, I'm gonna pour the eggs in. And the method that I do is I use the chopsticks and I'll twirl the eggs around in a circle. And as I tilt it, the egg flows to the other direction and just kind of keep following the flow of the eggs and just keep moving it. Just keep doing that until all of the liquid is uh, formed into solid. And there you have it. Beautiful scrambled eggs. Very creamy, really delicious. Adding some pepper on top, add some flavor. All right, we're gonna get going, Spence. <laughs> Thank you. Let me take this card. Okay. This is where we camped last night. Almost down to uh, House Rock Valley. Not yet, though. Close to it. In the Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Pretty cool spot here, but it was definitely tilted. So we had to put some rocks behind our wheels to try to get a level. And these things here are really, really sharp. So we didn't really spend time outside today. I don't want Spencer getting hurt here. Today is day 1445 of us living the van life lifestyle. We are a family of three traveling through the United States. We're currently near Kanab in Utah. And today we're going to take it a little bit slower. It's going to be a more relaxing day. The past few days we've been doing a bunch of hikes and uh, boondocking this whole time. So we're going to head over to a RV campground over in Page, Arizona. We're about to head over there now. We just got done with our morning routine. And this morning we've been kind of just hanging out in the van. I've been working. But first we're going to make a stop over at Walmart to pick up some groceries and maybe we'll do a little bit of cooking in the van while we're at the campground there. Spencer just fell asleep. He's got a fork right in his mouth. We're crossing into Arizona. This is Spencer's 34th state. Driving Page, Arizona. And we're gonna head over to Walmart to pick up a few things. We're gonna do some cooking in the van while we're at the RV park. Spencer is still napping, so we're gonna wait for him to get up before we go inside. Spencer just woke up. We're gonna head into Walmart now. One of the things that are often overlooked with van life is where to throw out garbage. Whenever we see a garbage can, we're usually pretty happy. Let's figure out what we got. Let's pick up some blackberries or blueberries. Since we're staying in a campground, we are gonna make like a beef stew or beef soup. We can use our induction cooktop and just kind of keep it running uh, for several hours if we need to. So let's pick up a few things to make that soup. I want to pick up a tomahawk tonight for tonight. I'm gonna do oxtail for the soup. I always get Vital Farm eggs. These, they only got the organic ones here, but these are more expensive and a little bit smaller. I don't really need the organic, but definitely uh, pasture raised. These are really good. It's like the ones that we, we made this morning. This is more expensive for Jordan. We gotta refill our drinking water here. Oh, it's cheaper here, 36 cents, nice. All right, we're gonna head over to the campground now. There is a pool and a an, an hot tub indoors I think. We can go play in the water. You want to play in the water? Yeah. Alright. And let's not linger in Walmart for too much longer. We're gonna make our way over to the campground now. The campground that we're headed to is called Page Lake Paolo Campground which is just five minutes from this Walmart. Alright we are here. Page Lake Paolo Campground. I'm just checking in. All right, we're at site 39 here. No campfires, what? 
No campfires. That's not that's not cool. 39 right here. Alright, let's settle into our site for the night. Let me show you guys where we parked, how the site looks like here. Nothing crazy. The office is just right back here and there's the pool and hot tub is in there, the showers back there. And unfortunately there's no campfire here. There's no fire ring here. I was expecting to make that tomahawk is outdoors, but it is what it is. We got a picnic table though. We can still hang out outside, it's pretty nice. It's pretty empty here too. The plan for tonight is we are going to make the soup first. It's still kind of early. It's uh, 2.47 right now. Get the soup started and we're going to go to the pool area. Let me plug this in. Oh, this thing fell off. I gotta fix this later. Uh, plug a power in. Yeah, Spence. Hi. Let's open up your pop up tent, Spence. Whoa, your camper van. Yeah, let's play with this one today. I'm just gonna put it in the cast iron, I think. Huh? The nice thing about paid campgrounds are we can lay everything out without camping chairs, without feeling like we don't belong. I mean, when we're staying in a BLM land or a BLM campground, we just don't feel comfortable taking everything out. Um, for the most part. Can I play with it this time? We're just waiting for Rina to get the soup started before we head over to the pool. In the camper van. Hey Spence, you went in. That is the wheel. Good job. You're gonna come out here? Okay, you can come out through here. Good job. Soup is looking good. We're gonna get it to a boil and then uh, we're gonna head out. We're heading over to the pool now. Yeah, it's pretty empty. Nice. We have it all to ourselves. Let's go to the hot tub. Oh. Oh. It's kind of nice. Right? It's very nice. We needed this. Uh -huh. Kind of nice. Really nice. Yeah. This campground was a little bit on the pricier side. It was fifty-six dollars per night. And after all the taxes and fees, it came out to like 70 something dollars. More than what we would normally pay for a campground, but I think this is, this is worth it right here. A <laughs> Whoa! That was a really nice hot tub and a shower. We really needed that. And we're back in the van now and um, making the tomahawk in the oven here. While we were showering, I got it up to 118 right now. So I'm gonna let it um, rest a little bit and then I'm gonna sear it on the cast iron. The soup that we're making right here is tomato oxtail soup. It's gonna be great to just enjoy uh, and eat the meats. And we're gonna use the soup to make breakfast with it too. We can uh, freeze it later on in like small packages. So when we're out and we want to make uh, a macaroni and soup, we can just uh, take some of the, the ones in the freezer and reheat it back up. So this is a, a nice soup that we're making tonight. We're going to let this thing simmer for overnight. We're going to cook it overnight, so it's going to be really tasty. You guys look so relaxed after the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do laundry tonight too. Let me see if there's any machines available. It's nice that they got laundry machines here. It's pretty close to our site. Oh, yes they do. They got three machines open. All right, let me get my clothes here to get uh, get washed. I got three machines going, $1.25 each. Pretty good price for washing clothes. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook the perfect tomahawk stick. 
using cast iron. I already put this in the oven for about an hour and a half at 250 degrees. And the internal temperature right now is at 129 degrees. And it's been resting for about 20 minutes now. I'm about to uh, get the cast iron really hot, but first I'm gonna pat this thing dry to get a really nice sear. All that's left is getting a nice sear on both sides and it should be ready to be served. I'm gonna turn the stove on and I'm gonna get this thing ripping hot. Putting some beef tallow. It's starting to get really hot. Here we go. One thing you guys are missing is this cast iron press. After about two minutes, I'm gonna flip it. Here. Do it for another two minutes on this side. And I'm gonna toss some garlic in here too. Yeah, check out that sear. I'm gonna get the edge. Get this hot. Get a nice sear on the edges. Alright, now that I'm happy with the sear, I'm gonna turn this thing down. I'm gonna add in my butter. Put it right in. And then just baste it. Mix it in with the garlic. Don't discard the garlic there. This goes right in this here. And it's gonna be to dip the steak in. It's gonna be delicious. This is at the perfect temperature at 136 right now. Next I'm going to sear these scallops here. Check out how nice this tomahawk came out. Perfectly cooked. We're having scallops and shrimp and Spencer's having corn. All right, guys, we're going to be hanging out in the van for the rest of the evening. We just had a really, really good dinner with the tomahawk steak. That was well done. Um, tomorrow, we're not sure where we're going yet. If you guys want to find out what, what we're doing tomorrow, be sure to check out tomorrow's video. And if you guys like watching real van life content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.